This coverage of CES 2017 is brought to you by FreshBooks, the number one cloud accounting software for freelancers that lets you save time, get paid faster, and get more organized. Check it out at the link in the video description. We're here in the Corsair booth and they're showing off the K95. RGB, wait, both of those products already exist. No, this is the K95 RGB Platinum, which is totally different from the other K95 and K95 RGB. This one has a piece of plastic inside it from when I dropped it before we started, but don't tell anybody, it's a, it'll be our little secret. There are also some other differences. So now in addition to individually RGB backlit keys, the keyboard now has a logo and a strip at the top that are, as the kids say, lit but in RGB. They have also altered the macro keys on the left, reducing them from 18 to a mere six, which will disappoint Terran from my team, and according to Corsair's market research, pretty much nobody else. Macro keys, macro key, keyboard, keyboard, keyboard. Because most people can't reach any further than the rightmost column of macro keys while they're gaming. But let me know in the comments if you guys disagree with that. They've altered the space bar, putting a textured finish on it that I personally am really not a huge fan of, but some of the staples of Corsair's keyboards do remain, including their dedicated media keys and that nice kind of knurled metal scroll wheel. One big change I am a fan of that has to do with texture is the wrist rest. It now has either kind of a dimpled texture on the one side or a more uh, coarse texture on the other side. It's got a really nice rubberized finish and the whole thing mounts with magnets, whichever way you choose to put it on. It feels and looks really premium. You can't even tell it's reversible until you reverse it and you're like, oh, I like this one better or oh, I hate this one, I'm gonna put it back. That's not to say that I like everything about the wrist rest. So on the bottom, you find a cable management cross for your uh, headphones so that they can run under your keyboard if you like having your headphone wire come up between your hands while you're gaming. But unfortunately, the implementation on the bottom of the wrist rest is not as good as on the rest of the bottom of the keyboard with no clips to hold the wire in place, meaning that you'll either be constantly fidgeting with it or it might end up under the rubber stoppers at the bottom, causing the wrist rest to move around a little bit. Another thing I'm not a huge fan of down here is the fact that they've gone with the cheapo plastic clips for the wrist rest that inevitably get broken and given that this is such a nice wrist rest that I'd love to use forever I find that a little disappointing. Other than that it's got a USB pass through and there's not really a whole lot else to say except it's not entirely reliant on software for the RGB lighting anymore. You gotta set it up with Q but once you do that it can store up to three profiles for all your macro settings as well as your lighting effects that you can switch between with a configurable macro within Q that you can save on the keyboard. So the onboard memory has been beefed up significantly. It'll be available in two different colors black worldwide and black and gunmetal in the US and it's going to be priced at $199 when it comes out. So now seems like a good time to give a huge shout out to FreshBooks for sponsoring our content here at CES 2017. FreshBooks is all about making your life easier and helping you with your cash flow. It lets you create professional invoices in seconds. You can take deposits from your clients, you can track your expenses, you can track your hours, and you can even see when you send a client an invoice if they have received it, which takes the guessing games out of, uh, oh, hey, did you send the bill? Uh, oh, hey, yeah, I did. Oh, hey, I didn't get it. And makes it so that you can get on with doing your work instead of following up on getting paid for your work. So if all that sounds pretty cool, you can try it out for 30 days for free at the link in the video description. It's freshbooks.com slash tech tips.